Today, we're going to be talking about how to start streaming on Twitch, even if you're a complete beginner. Let's jump in. So in order to start streaming on Twitch, you'll need a few different things. One is a Twitch account, which is completely free to sign up through Twitch. And then knowing what type of content that you want to stream, you'll need a couple of components like a webcam, like a microphone to plug into your computer. And then the most crucial component is going to be some sort of software to broadcast from through Twitch. So in my case, I find OBS to be one of the best tools to use for that. Again, it's completely free. You just have to go to obsproject.com and I'll even put a link in the description to be able to go to that. And you can download this. This is an open source broadcasting software and it's even set up to, to integrate directly with Twitch, which is what I'll show you how to do today. So from the website, you just want to download whichever version that you need, whether it's Mac or Windows, Linux, that sort of thing. So here I just created a basic scene where we have our video capture, so our camera connected to that. We have our gameplay footage, which right now is just a trailer for uh, Minecraft, just to show you what it looks like. And then a little text with my name box. And that's all created right here within OBS. And if you're interested, I have another video that shows you exactly how to set up all the components in OBS to layer them in this way. But what this video is all about is how to get from OBS to Twitch. So what we're gonna do we're gonna go over here to our settings and we wanna to go to stream and under services, we wanna to go to Twitch. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect an existing account, which is the easiest way to do this. You can also do it by adding the stream key, but connecting the account is by far the easiest. So it's gonna open up a window here and it's gonna ask you to sign into your account. So you just wanna add your username and password. It's gonna ask you to enter the verification code and then it's gonna ask you to authorize connecting to that. So we wanna say authorize. So now your Twitch account is connected to OBS. Now we can go through here and change a couple other things. We're gonna to go to video and make sure that our base canvas resolution is 1920 by 1080. You can either match it to what your base canvas is or you can lower it so that people are able to stream it a little bit easier if it has a low, low resolution and then same thing with your frames per second. I always suggest leaving that on 60. Okay, and then you're gonna click apply and we'll go okay. And then once again, it's gonna have you log into your Twitch dashboard over here. Once again, it's gonna ask you to enter the verification code from your email. And that basically just gets you signed into the dashboard on Twitch so that everything is operated right here within OBS. So you can enter in a title, we'll call this my first stream. You can pick a category, you could do tags, you can get all your information that you wanna log in there. A little pop-up says that everything is successful. I'm just gonna add this, lock that panel right over there. And then you can also see over here, you have a window with your stream chat so that everything pops up there as you're going. So, and just real quick to show you what we have here is this is the screen of what's actually going to be broadcasting, what's gonna be streaming. Now, nothing is streaming yet. So you can be able to, I've got the gameplay footage, which is just, just by adding sources here, you can add your display capture, which would be the monitor that you have your game on and select the monitor. In my case, I just have a second monitor. Our video capture, which is our screen here, which is our webcam. And you just, again, you just add that, add your video capture uh, device, select the camera, and then the text. And that's just something ex extra that you can put in there. And then over here, you have your uh, microphone sources. So again, we'll go into our settings and you go to audio. And here you select your microphone. In my case, it's just the Yeti microphone there. And then you can also set your audio from your desktop as the default, which is anything that's gonna be playing on your computer, like your, your gameplay will also be in there. So you can adjust those volumes as you play through this. And then once you're ready, you have everything set and ready to go, then you just click on start streaming and you're live. A couple of things to remember is that there is a delay from the time that what you are seeing on screen in OBS to get over to Twitch and to stream live. And depending on your internet speed and your processor speed and all of that, it may vary. And with that, you're now streaming on Twitch. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next video.